do shout outs. We were supposed to do this Edward every week or every other week, but things just kind of got in the way. So it's every other other week. <laughs> but we're here now and we got a lot to do, so let's get started, shall we? Shall we? Julia Rosa Silva, welcome back. Watcher 8, welcome back. Hooray, Sevic. Close enough. Okay. If I say your name wrong, I'm sorry. Just let us know and we'll try and redo it the following shout-outs. Not going to say the following week. <laughs> Hooray, Kevick. Welcome to the neighborhood. <laughs> Pitch Black, welcome to the neighborhood. Scratcher, welcome. He's got a channel. He's very outgoing and energetic. We think you guys should go by and check him out. Susie here. Welcome back. We've missed you, girl. Hope everything's going well with you. Rhonda Toy, welcome to the neighborhood. And she is a big Halloween person, just like us. The Family of Sunshine, welcome back. Jade the Dog, welcome to the neighborhood. We have a dog, too. We have two of them. One likes to talk a lot. Loved girl, welcome to the neighborhood. That's my pseudo-daughter-in-law, Bree. Amelia Barcella, Barcera, welcome to the neighborhood. Andy Kelly, welcome to the neighborhood. He was making fun of my spider situation. Uh huh. Daniel Caputo, welcome to the neighborhood. Tony and Dustin, they have a channel. You guys need to go by and check them out. Shout out to you guys. Chrissy Werner, welcome to the neighborhood. Anna Saba, welcome to the neighborhood. Jess Lucero, welcome back. We've missed hearing from you. Chanel Lenardis, welcome back. We've missed hearing from you. Slevens92 YouTuber, welcome back. We missed hearing from you. The Antique Autistic, welcome back. We missed hearing from you. Carl's Vlog, welcome to the neighborhood. Are you the Carl from The Walking Dead? Just let me know. Carl! I, I, I would love it. Carl! <laughs> Carl! Carl! <laughs> Olivia D, welcome to the neighborhood. Tracy Jazz. Jazz, 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 welcome to the neighborhood. Janie Van Atta, welcome to the neighborhood. Gothic Flesh, welcome to the neighborhood. <laughs> shh, shh, this is when I talk. <laughs> Justina Rabalisa, welcome to the neighborhood. Ninja Club, welcome to the neighborhood. Damien Merchant, shout out to you and welcome to the neighborhood, we hope. Ash Greninja, welcome to the neighborhood, shout out to you. <sighs> That's a lot of shout outs, guys. But we say welcome to each and every one of you. We hope you enjoy becoming part of our neighborhood. Okay. Um, just a few little notes. We got Paula Woodall. She appreciates that we respond. Not every YouTuber does that, and it makes her feel special. We try and respond to every single comment. I do fall behind at times, but I do go back and I do respond as much as I possibly can. So keep your comments coming, guys, and we will definitely get back to each and every one of you. Lindsay Wagner, happy birthday to you. Music and lyrics, happy birthday to your mother. Terry Johnson's nephew, Patrick, happy 30th birthday to you. <sighs> I got to tell you, even though we're past Halloween, we had somebody send us a ghostly experience. Music and lyrics 15, ghostly experience. Listening to music, random smell of cigarette and sweet smell of perfume as they were dancing around and having fun. They saw an orb. 
Then they realized it was one year to the day that their friend's grandmother had passed away and that she it, that is the way she always smelled. Hmm. Thoughts and prayers. First of all, thoughts and prayers to everybody with everything that is going on in the world right now. Just thoughts and prayers to everybody who's been affected by floods, fires, earthquakes, needless shootings and and terror attacks and you name it thoughts and prayers go out to everybody who is affected by all of that um lipstick and sofrito thoughts and prayers for family in puerto rico um this has been a while since i I've, I've gotten some of these so situations may have changed please update us if they have has it really um but gotten any better. I know. Um, Puerto Rico is, is is totally devastated again. Their power is now back out again. Um, but at this time when she sent me this message, uh, Lipstick and Sofrito, thoughts and prayers for family in Puerto Rico, been three weeks without clean w drinking water, clean water to bathe, no cell phone service, and no electricity. So our thoughts and prayers go out to everybody in Puerto Rico that is dealing with that. Delta Knight Vlogs, his father passed away suddenly. I don't remember when he sent me this message, but our thoughts and prayers go out to him. And we ask that everybody in the community also keep him in your thoughts and prayers. Lindsay's, Lindsay Wagner's father also passed away. She just had services for him this past week. And um, Lindsay and I are very close, and uh, please keep her in your thoughts and prayers. Lindsay, as always, you are in my thoughts and prayers as well. Music and lyrics, his uncle had fallen. Um, an update on my uncle who fell and knocked his head. He came home yesterday, and it was my birthday too. So happy birthday to music and lyrics. I think I already said that. Um, he is doing really good at the moment, better than anyone expected, and is having carers twice a day. Mm -hmm. um, so we hope he's still doing well. This has been um, three weeks since you left me this message, so we hope he's still doing well. Our thoughts and prayers are with him for a speedy and full recovery. He also had a sick hamster at the time. Um, that hamster got better. Unfortunately, my other hamster, Echo, became sick a few weeks ago and passed away on the 7th of October at two years, one week old. I am heartbroken, but still have her in my heart. So, our thoughts and prayers go out to you. Music and lyrics 15 on the loss of one of your fur babies. We do know how difficult that is. Thoughts and prayers also go out to Angry Grandpa. Those of you who do not know Angry Grandpa, he has a channel. Go look him up. He's been very, very ill. He's been in ICU. They did not think he was going to make it. He has now been moved out of ICU. Um, while he was in ICU, he got engaged. So congratulations on that. Um, and congratulations on getting moved out of ICU. Our thoughts and prayers from the neighbors and the neighborhood community go out very hot, very strongly to Angry Grandpa. Okay, and my question from the last shout outs we had was What is your favorite part about Halloween? Music and lyrics, favorite part about Halloween, favorite thing about Halloween is the chill in the air and the pretty pumpkins. I agree. I love the chill in the air. It's just not fall and Halloween without that. <laughs> we had 140 chill. degree weather. I was in Connecticut, so I had nice fall weather. Um, Terry Johnson. We go over to my parents' house because they get a lot of trick-or-treaters. My mother buys those big-sized candy bars. None of the miniature ones. The big-sized candy bars. It's fun to watch the kids' faces light up when they see those bars. I like passing out the candy and looking at all the cute kid costumes. 
Mom even gets teens at her door because they know she gives out those big candy bars. Next year, we're going trick-or-treating at Terry's mom's house. <laughs> yeah. But I'm done. Ter Tanya Longley. I love getting dressed up for Halloween. I used to hang hand out candy, but I have been going around with my old boss, his girlfriend, and their five kids. We all dress up. It's great watching the little kids. It bring back, brings back memories when I was little. What do you normally dress up as, Tanya? Just curious. Pete Price. This year is going to be the best Halloween as we can dress up the grandson in a Halloween suit. Paula Woodall. She went back and also answered um, an older question as to what your favorite neighborhood pet was. My favorite pet of yours, what I would have to say, is Angel. I love how sweet she seems and the way she talks at the end. Boomer would be a close second for me. As for Halloween, I would have to say my favorite part is the candy, of course, even though I'm not supposed to eat that much of it. Ha, ha, ha. The dressing up is pretty cool, too. I want to say a big thank you for replying to my comments. So, she likes the candy and the dressing up. I can't eat the candy either, but I do. And I love to dress up every year. Um, Gypsy Soul says, skulls everywhere. I like skulls. Yeah. Sherry Tate. My favorite thing about Halloween is seeing people's costumes and how they let their creativity shine. It's just a fun time to let loose. And Sherry Rayner. I want to, uh, first I'll answer her question about the Halloween and then I want to read a little something that she wrote. My favorite thing about Halloween is for one night, anyone can be anything they want to be with no judgment because it's Halloween. Okay, maybe a few last, but that's okay. Now, I want to read something that she wrote, and this goes back again to the thoughts and prayers and everything that's going on in the world right now. Our country has been taking a beating this year with disasters. But the great thing about bruises is they heal over time. I have faith in God that we will all mend in time, too. My heart goes out to everyone everywhere who has been affected. So I thought that was a very nice sentiment, and thank you, Sherry, for sharing that with us. My question for this week is, when is it too early to decorate for Christmas? Now, I'm going to turn it over to Kevin because I've talked for way too long, guys. Kevin, take it away! Jeez, it's about time. <laughs> All right, the last time we had a, a shout out, which was a month ago, um, the question was about Halloween, of course, from the original, 1978. Uh, and um, the uh, created an entire genre of horror movies where it's um, only the good, the good girl or the good guy uh, survives and uh, everybody else who either drinks or smokes or has sex and dies. So, and that was uh, uh, not act the intent of the, uh, the writer-director, John Carpenter. He said that um, um, the, the only reason that um, they were killed is because they were distracted by what they were doing. And that the good girl, or uh, Lori Strode, was not. She was. Uh, she was not distracted. She was eye on the ball at the whole time. The rest of them were distracted. So he never intended a moral uh, concept to be created. Although it ended up being that way. And those who got that correct was Tanya Longley and T T Terry Jones. Congratulations, you guys! And today's question has to do with the brand new movie that's kicking everybody's butt. It. What? It. What's that? You know, it. The thing that's it. What's it? I don't know, but whatever. So, night 2017, it has the number 27 keep popping up. What? Not just in the story, not just in the movie, but throughout everything about the movie. What significance does the number 27 have? There you have it, guys. It? Our shout outs after a month. <laughs> Sorry it's been so long. We will try and not put
put it off this long again. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one out there. We would not be here if it weren't for every single one of you sitting out there. We love you all so very, very much. Make sure you tune in next two weeks for the next shout outs. And keep watching because, hey, you never know what we're up to on a daily basis.